Light the lights. Step right up, Buttercup. This is a performance not to be missed. Friends, neighbors, and fresh-faced newcomers. Ho, oh, ho, that's you. There is a show in town today that is going to knock your socks off. It's an entertainment the likes of which I've never been seen this side of the stratosphere. I'm talking about singing and dancing, silliness, and acts of sublime stupidity that will boggle the funny bone and tickle the mind. While you've been at home schooling and zooming from the comfort of your lazy boy, this unparalleled entertainer has been tap dancing and top hat twirling to prepare a performance just for you for one night and one night only i can guarantee you a spectacle you have never seen before and never will see again and for just this night exclusively for you cool cats and kittens the show costs only one dollar or an ice cream sandwich whatever you got in the freezer that's right buttercups step right up step right up because here she comes, the one, the only, mighty soul. Back in the day, before there was a lot of advertisement, circuses used to travel around the United States from city to city and town to town. And they had circus talkers who would go out into the public and try to excite people, to entice people to come in and see what the circus was offering, either under the big tent or in some of the sideshows around the circus or sometimes a carnival. Now, the skill of the circus talker is fundamentally a kind of salesmanship. It's about selling your product, which is some kind of an amazing feat of performance, with a lot of pizzazz, and it's a kind of performance all on its own. So today, we are gonna practice circus talking so that you can introduce either your own act or perhaps a friend or family member's act talk that we are gonna practice creating today has five main distinct parts. Part one is building the tip. That's building up the crowd, catching individuals' attention so that they perk up their ears and hear what else you have to say. Part two is freezing the tip. That means once you've attracted people to your circus talk, you wanna keep them there with some enticing information. Part three is your opening. That's your sales pitch. That's where you describe some of the details of what your crowd might experience when they come into your attraction or your circus. Part four is the jam. The jam is a special offer that stands only right this moment for one time only just for these special folks who've gathered around today. And part five is the grind. Once you've got them attracted, once you've got them enticed, you want to keep up a rhythmic pattern that's called the grind as they move into your circus tent or your attraction, pay their one dollar or their ice cream sandwich, and voila, you have made a sale. Now, we're going to break this circus talk down into a bit of a mad lib. All right, so let's break it down. Now, to build the tip, I said, friends, neighbors, and fresh-faced newcomers. That's you. Building the tip is all about noticing who your audience might be and catching their attention with a personalized pitch. So for example, if your audience for the circus today is your uh, lizard and your cat, you might say something like, cold-blooded creatures and furry friends alike. Those descriptions are sure to whoop, perk up their attention and bring them to hear the rest of your pitch. The second part of building the tip was there's a show in town today that's going to knock your socks off. So I've picked my audience members and I've made the beginnings of a promise. One special tip. Try using alliteration that's when you use multiple words in a row that start with the same letter, like furry friends. It's just a little bit of style. All right, you've built the tip. Now you gotta freeze the tip. You gotta keep their attention. So for my circus talk, I said, it's an entertainment the likes of which never has been seen this side of the stratosphere. I'm talking about singing, dancing, 
silliness, and acts of sublime stupidity that will boggle the funny bone and tickle the mind. I described a little more detail about the entertainment that people were going to see. Right? I said it's an entertainment the likes of which have never been seen this side of the stratosphere. So just a little bit more detail about what your audience might experience when they come into your circus or your attraction. Then I got into even some more detail. Singing, dancing, silliness, and acts of sublime stupidity. There's a little bit of alliteration again. So what is it that your audience, your lizard, your cat, your grandmother, your brother, or your sister, might see when they watch your performance tonight. Are you gonna do a dizzying dance? A magnificent magic trick? Once you've frozen the tip, you're gonna go into your opening. This is your sales pitch. This is what elevates your performance above the ordinary. So for my opening, I said, while you've been at home schooling and zooming from the comfort of your lazy boy, this unparalleled entertainer has been tap dancing and top hat twirling to prepare a performance just for you. This opening emphasizes why this show is special. Not anyone can do it. Sitting in your lazy boy is not going to get you on to the stage in the big top. No, you've got to practice. Tell us a little bit about where your act comes from and how they've been preparing. All the way from Philadelphia, where she's been practicing her dance, her acrobatics, her magic tricks. Next up is the jam. This is a special offer just for today. I said for my jam, for tonight, one night only, and exclusively for you cool cats and kittens, this entertainment will cost only one dollar or an ice cream sandwich, right? I'm implying that had you come yesterday, or if you came tomorrow, the entertainment would be more expensive, cost a few more dollars. So how can you frame your offer tonight as if it's special? One night only, only for today, just for you special audience members. And then a detail about exactly how much it's gonna cost. A dime, a nickel, a quarter, a dollar, See what you can get your audience to pay. And finally, we have the grind. That's our rhythmic patter. I said, that's right, buttercup, step right up, step right up, because here she comes. A little bit of rhythmic patter, repetition. What can you say to keep your folks moving along, taking their seats and getting ready to watch your presentation? Step right up, step right up is a very sort of iconic version. You might say, Please take your seats. Now is the time. Time's running out. Please find a seat and get comfortable. Something like that. And finally, you'll say, without further ado, I present. And there you have your circus talk. Thanks so much. I hope that you use this circus talk to introduce some of the acts you've been practicing with Arts Break over these last weeks. And we'll see you next time. Ciao.